Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to some more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're back on file 2. And if you wanted to see it, here are my stats that we have gotten. So let me just go new run with Isaac. Okay, so if you haven't seen my first part, you can go watch that now, if you want to see, we're not going to explain it again. You can go watch my first part. If you have watched my first part, thank you for watching my first first part. And, uh, comment down below if you want me to continue doing Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I really love the game, my friend also plays it too. Uh, P-Man Gaming, go check out his channel. His link is in the description below. And he, wait, yeah, he plays it. And he has three or four parts. I don't know which one. But he's actually pretty good at it. Like, he might be better than I am. We've kind of not really figured out who's better yet. But we play it, and it's fun. <laughs> I didn't know what to say there. So I'm just going to the yellow room and collect mom's bra, which is mass fear. When you do a space bar, when you press space bar, it activates the item. So, yeah, I love items. I need more bombs, because there's a few blue rocks that I've been missing. Dang it, I shouldn't have hit, gotten hit by that. challenge up and I'm pretty sure what that does I'm not positive so don't yell at me if I'm wrong I think that basically uh, has a higher chance of giving me challenges I don't know and what's this one puberty dang it <laughs> So let me just go down here. What I do is, uh, usually for the first floor, I check all the rooms to get as many resources as possible. Uh, because it could help later in the game. Dang it. <laughs> I keep getting hit by easy monsters. And now I can blow up both of those, uh, blue rocks that I saw. There's one in here. Right here. Don't move that. Okay, good. Let me just pick up these metallic hearts. And look, I already have two rows of hearts. And I'm pretty sure there was one in here somewhere. Up here. Why is it right here? Ah, it's a, it's a yellow chest. Those are kind of like yellow rooms, only they have uh, less useful stuff. Let me use mom's bra and see what it does. Oh, okay, so it freezes the monsters in place, like they're afraid. That's cool. That that was pretty useful because I got a few good hits off of him. So now he's only half health. So right now what I need are bombs and keys because I need more. If I want to get the yellow room in the next round, I'll need keys. So let me just kill him and kill all his minion flies. Uh, Cat on nine tails, damage up and shot speed up. So now I shoot really fast and I have a lot more damage. Let me go to the next mo uh, round. Oh wow, they killed themselves. Okay, right here. And up here. Dang it, it's the grandpa f flies. I'm pretty sure they're called grandpa flies. The like old gray ones. And they're, I don't, I just don't know what, um, like, I don't know what it is, but I always get hit by them whenever they spawn. 
I'm not sure if it's just me or the game makes you do that because it's mean. Ooh, I want to get that. Uh, Blue Rock. Dang it. Why does it always do that? Oh, I'll run. Okay. I'm just going to do the boss from here. Freeze it. And get a lot of hits off. Oh, I was really close to him there. I could have gotten hit easily. Now, I think Monster is a pretty basic boss at the start of the game. Like, he's he's probably the easiest for beginners. Because he's just so easy to dodge. Like, as you can see there, I did it without uh, getting hit once. And also, I didn't mention this in the last one, if you break poop and fire, there's a small chance that you can get coins out of it. So always break fire and poop if you have time. Now let me go over here. And I need a key to get to the yellow room. Come on. Have this. Give me a key. Oh, that's not key. That's a bomb. Oh, dang. Oh, I can actually do this. So basically this room is called... Oh, dang it! It's called like a suicide room or something where you spend some of your hearts to uh, get through. This is also one of them. You spend some of your hearts to go through the doorway and to get special stuff in chests which can hurt you or help you. So it's kind of a 50-50 chance. And I always do bad, so... I guess we're not getting a yellow room again. I don't know what's what I'm doing wrong, but I'm not getting keys or bombs or anything. So let's move down to the next level. And what I like about this game is there's no mouse involved, so you can't hear my clicking. So, yeah, because a few people were saying that uh, they thought the clicking was annoying in my videos. I'm sorry about that. I'm getting a mic uh, in May for my birthday, because my birthday is in May, if you guys are wondering. So, yeah, I'm getting one for my birthday, and... So you wouldn't hear this clicking, if you could hear that. Because it's really loud in some of my videos, and it's annoying. Like, I even agree that it's annoying sometimes. Oh, I can't reach that guy. Oh, watch out, he's shooting red stuff. There. And dead. Let me just sneak past here, grab that. And continue on. Oh, wow. Oh, are these the... Yeah, these are the guys that chase after you. You might want to get out of there. There's some that are super fast. Like, there are some that are faster than this. And they're super hard to dodge. I might actually go in here. So, basically, these rooms... I didn't explain it. There's two chests. And then, if you pick up the chests, you have to fight three rounds of bosses or they're not bosses just mo monsters so for this round I got keys for defeating three rounds of random bosses or I keep saying bosses just like monsters so once I get rid of this round there's another one and this will be the last one and these are the people that I hate they're so annoying. Like, they'll be your least favorite, too. They're so hard to get rid of. Okay, there. So, you go out. Now I can open this room. Kills heal. So if I kill monsters, I think it has a chance to heal me. That's a really good item. Oh, and these guys are annoying, too. If there's more than five, they're super hard to kill. Because basically you have to hurt them and start hurting the goo that they drop. And I found the secret room. I just can't get to it because I don't have bombs. Oh, come oh, it's like a timing. 
Almost there. Okay. Gertie, my least favorite boss of all. I'm not kidding. Gertie is probably the hardest to beat. For me, at least. I just hate Gertie. You can stand behind her, but you have to be careful of the mobs that she drops. Oh, Grandma Fly. So, my tip is to stay behind her, and then whenever she spa uh, spawns monsters, just kill them out from behind her, and then start hitting her again. Ow. So, I'm doing pretty good here. There's a Grandpa Fly, and I hate Grandpa Flies. I don't think I've ever beat Gertie, actually. Yes, she can hit you from the side, so be careful of that. Oh, the grandpa flies are the worst. She's almost dead, come on. And I think it's a girl. Hopefully. Come on, yes! No killing all the people is the worst part. You have to kill all these, like, gusher things. Ugh, they're so hard. Okay, that's what she said. Okay. The belt speed up, so now I move faster. And onwards to the next level. As you can see at the top, if you saw that, you can go back and see it in the video. That was the map at the top, so that's like how many rooms I have until mom at the end. Um, so I'm basically halfway through, and I say basically a lot. Okay, puberty, yes. Even more puberty. Oh, whoa, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. These characters were in uh, Binding of Isaac, the original. And I'm pretty sure if you start hitting them without their heads, their heads go separate. Yeah, like that. And the heads are basically, they're grandpa flies. They're super annoying, but they're way stronger than super, uh, grandpa flies. They have way more health. They're just annoying overall. Now, this... Uh, monster, probably the most irritating. Like, look at this. It's so hard to dodge sometimes. And then it splits off into more dingles. The dingles are fine, they just kind of move around and they don't even chase you. Ah, yes, that's why you should destroy po poop. Because it has a chance to drop hearts and stuff. And I'm pretty sure a child's heart... A child's heart is better than the challenge, whatever. I think it heals you for destroying poop. I'm pretty sure that's puberty. I think, let me go check. They're like color coded, so like what? Oh, nope. Nisha. I don't know what some of the pills do. I don't know what that one did. Oh! I have no map now. That's what Amnesia does. That sucks. Let me check the arcade real quick and pull up this one. Yeah, I was just gonna try to get some metallic hearts out of it. Well, that sucks. Now I don't have a map. These guys are pretty easy to beat. You just gotta keep moving around. That's my tip. Let's see. Because they shoot bones ahead of themselves. These guys, you always want to stay uh, in like diagonal lines from them. Or you could even go down here because they have short range and just shoot them all. Up here. This is a mini boss room. There's a few of them around. It's basically a boss that's like a bit easier than the actual boss. Uh, and they're just in random rooms. So let me just kill these. This is called Larry Jr. I'm pretty sure I didn't fight it in my first video because Peep killed me. And oh yeah, uh, that poop just dropped a coin. Get away from me. Oh, and that poop just dropped a, uh, whatever. I'm getting so many drops from this poop. 
Oh my gosh. Destroy all the poop. Next. Holy poop. I'm just gonna go in for the pill. Are you a wizard? Whoa! Well, that sucks. That's the worst pill ever. Now I, f now I shoot diagonally. It's so messed up. Oh god. This is hard. I guess I should destroy all the poop. Somehow, with my stupid eyes. Oh my god, this is so stupid. These diagonal tears. That's gonna be the name of my video. Oh! Oh, it's only temporary. I was like, I'm not going through this. Uh, I didn't go up here. Yep, there's the boss room. Okay, heads, get away from me. You're not coming across here. I'm serious, you're not coming across. Grab this key and go... Oh, yes, this is the guy that, like, goes around the whole map and comes around. You ready? Um, actually, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he, like, flies off the side of the screen and then comes on the other. Or is that a different boss? Because there's a few bosses that do that. Oh, yeah, this is the boss that splits, and it's really annoying because it chases you. And then it goes into, like... Oh, they do that? Oh, I'm definitely using this. Get rid of this one. What the heck? Oh, I got hurt by touching it. Oh, wow. That sucks. Ouch! If I die to these, this guy. Okay, killed one. Now it's just this guy. Dang it! <gasps> no! Well, that was the end of that run, guys. I'm just gonna do this one more. Frick. Oh, frick. I'm just gonna do this round, because that was a... That was a pretty long episode, actually. That was at least 15 minutes. Oh my god, why do I keep touching it? Ah, there's the yellow room. Oh, and I found a trick. If you get, like... Oops. Well, actually, P-Man showed me it. If you get bad rooms... Like, you can get the yellow room, which is pay-to-play. That's, if you don't like it, hold R until you get a yellow room right next to where you spawn. Go through it. You can pick up that one. Explosive thoughts. Ooh, that's an interesting item. Never seen it. Let's try it. Ow! That just killed him in, like, oh my gosh, I got this again. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. Oh, wait, dang it. It comes back, like, every round. That's 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 actually a cool item. Because it blows up rocks and stuff. Like, if you had blue rocks, it'd probably blow it up. Taurus, speed down, range up, I'm pretty sure that's said. Yeah, range up. I don't know. Go back and tell me. No, I can just watch the video over. Uh, technology, it's laser tears, it's like that. Um, if you have technology too, it's better, but technology really helps with Larry Jr. This is just an item review. Uh, this one, fear him. I'm pretty sure he damages monsters. Let me check. Yeah, he damages monsters, so you can kind of just sit here and he'll do his job. But you have to be close to a monster for him to start. New item. Best friend. Friends till the end. It's basically a spacebar item that blows up. That was in the first Isaac. I remember it. Um, Wooden spoon. Or er, flush. Oh, yeah. This is, like, it damages, like, almost all the... Uh, monsters in the room. Eternal life. You get an extra life if you die. I can show it here. Huh. Let me see. Okay. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a lot of lemonade. So if you die, you basically respawn. But you have, uh, soul hearts. So you can not pick up these hearts until you get HP up. Next item. 
I'm sorry if I'm not talking a lot. I feel like I'm saying a bunch of stuff. Flaming Tears. They basically set uh, enemies on fire. And there's Rainbow Poop. That's actually pretty rare. So basically, pretend you poisoned an enemy and it takes damage over time. Like Pokemon. That's basically what that does. Rainbows. I seriously don't know what those do. I've only seen them once, and it did nothing. Mom's pad, gross. Press space bar, and I'm pretty sure it does the same as mom's bra. I'm not sure if that's true. Sweet suffering, gimpy. I'm pretty sure that does nothing, actually. I think it's just a costume. Um, What's this? Daddy long legs. Oh, yes. This is actually a pretty cool item. You go into a room with a monster... In the shadow follows them around and basically one hits them for almost every monster. So you could sit here and like you have to move around a bit, but it crushes like enemies in the room. It's pretty cool, as seen on TV. And I'll show you one more item, and then that'll be it for this video. Reusable pill generator, you press space, it gives you a random pill, and you use it. I'll show you one more, that was small. Miter, I think. I think you take, uh, or there's a chance you take no damage from monsters hitting you. I'm not sure what that does, actually. Yeah, I seriously don't know what that is, or what that does. Oh yeah, I said I was going to end it there. Money equals damage. So if you have uh, money, you can turn it into damage. I don't know. I've never seen this item. So let me test it. Let me just kill this guy. Bam, kill them both. Oh, and I get my bomb back. Thank you. I'm just going to try to get money real quick. Because there's an easy way to get money. Oh, and if you're wondering how to get money, it's right here. Ooh, I want to show you what that item does right there on the ground. Because Gemini is actually pretty easy. I can show it now. I'm just going to kill him with bombs, because bombs are the easiest way to kill Gemini. Ooh, his... His, uh... Gemini baby took- I couldn't get out of there. I thought I was gonna die. His Gemini baby takes a lot of damage from bombs. Oh crap, I wasted that bomb. And that one. Okay, time to kill him legitimately. So once you kill the main Gemini, if you are wondering, this is one of the bosses. The mini uh, baby turns red and chases you. And whenever you shoot it, it bounces in a weird direction. And basically cuts you off like that and trolls you. So, that white heart that was out here, there, let me just kill him. Ooh, black hearts. I can talk about those too. So this white heart, if you have a white heart, like a half a white heart, and go down into a new room, it'll basically turn the white heart into an HP up. So as you can see, I have four hearts at the top there. And I have a black heart, which is a soul heart. So if I lose it, I turn on a rampage and have like a bunch of damage. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have to end it here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I am like, I can't use my mouse right now. And I just opened force quit. So you're going to see my desktop here. Yeah. Yeah, this is my desktop if you want to see it. I just have organized stuff, first stuff in school. Okay.